<laughs> Maybe I need a break. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and help run your business. All right, you guys, so today in just the never-ending saga of advent calendars because I have an issue and couldn't stop buying them. We have two more calendars. Can you guys believe it? You, you should, you should. We could do the series for like the entirety of 2022 and I probably wouldn't run out of calendars. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing to brag about. <laughs> that's really not a good thing. But today I have selected two seemingly random calendars to unbox together with you guys but okay so we have this one here right it says face and body azos and then we have this one here from the body shop see it says body on it they both say body on it so to me there's some type of theme occurring here so I selected to open these two calendars today and see what is inside I did have a lot of people asking specifically about the body shop calendars they did have three of them I was only able to get my hands on one and the other two became available and somehow some way I was able to show minor restraint and not actually buy the other two. I don't know how I did that, but I did. And then I also had some people telling me that the body shop is an MLM, and I don't know if that's true or not, but... <laughs> Really? Let's go ahead and start off here with the body shop calendar. This one specifically is the Share the Joy advent calendar. And yes, this is the thing from the Sephora advent calendar still stuck to my phone. I can't get it off, but I kind of like it. It says inside you get 24 little treats. I like how instead of saying like, oh, samples or like minis, they called them little treats. I think that's pretty cute. This calendar was $79 and it has a total value of $130.50. So not too bad, not too shabby. It also has really good reviews on their site. There are 46 reviews and it has a 4.9 out of 5 stars, so that's like, like that's good. I mean, we've been reaching like down to the bottom of the barrel, just fishing around for some like scraps with a lot of these calendars, so it's nice to see something that is well reviewed. I don't think I've ever had anything from the body shop before, so I am excited to see what is in here. I'm gonna assume it's a lot of body stuff. Or maybe it will forever remain a mystery because I can't figure out how tabs work. This is meant to be opened, right? Oh, I'm gonna have to rip it. I hate ripping stuff. Let's not even talk about it. We're just we're just gonna move on. Let's just not even talk about it. <laughs> Maybe I need a break. <laughs> Okay, let me go get the thing I threw, and then let me pick up all the boxes off the floor. Okay, I'll just show you guys this part without all the things inside, because they're all on the ground. So here we have the little box. It's really cute. It's like a little pop-up book, which I think is adorable. And then everything else comes in individual boxes. This video will take me the rest of my lifetime if I don't stop the video right now and sort through all of these and get them rearranged into a way that I can actually see the numbers. Yay! Okay, so I'll be right back. All right, so I don't know how they got all these in here, but this is as good as I could do. I had to sit on the floor behind me and like put them all into a line numerically for a second. I thought this was about to fall off the table again. Let's just go ahead and scoop that in. All right, starting here on day number one, I did notice on the side of all the boxes, they were kind of like encouraging selfless acts this holiday season. And the side of this box says, this Christmas we're celebrating the people who selflessly care for others all year round. For the next 23 days, let us join them and share that selfless love with the world, which I think is really nice, kind of spreading that message. Alrighty, so for day number one, we have something, ooh, strawberry. I love strawberry. So this is just a little body shop hand cream and a strawberry scent. Strawberry has just always been like one of my favorite like baked goods tastes. Like strawberry cake is one of my absolute favorites, which is kind of strange. I think it's because my grandma loves strawberry ice cream so much and that just rubbed off on me. Ooh. Oh, and it does smell very strawberry-y. Ooh. I really want to put this on my hands, but I don't want them to be like slippery for the rest of this unboxing. Maybe just a little. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that smells really good. It's like a really fresh strawberry scent. That smells amazing. It also feels really good on the skin. My my, that smells delicious. Moving on to day number two here. This one feels pretty heavy. Ooh. Okay, I should have anticipated this because like everything smells like this now apparently. Um, but the next thing we have in here is a shower gel that is in the scent British Rose. Fortunately, I now have an outlet for all of my rose scented things. My aunt, my mom's twin sister, apparently loves the smell of rose, the little weirdo. So I told her I would just like collect up all of my rose scented things and she could have them. Oh, it's not terrible. It's just kind of florally. I feel like there's other stuff in there besides just rose. It smells like a very fresh flower actually. All right, number three is up next here. I'm excited to see what it is. Oh, oh that looks like, oh, 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 um, Powerpuff Girls. Does that not? This little heart on here reminds me of so much of Powerpuff Girls, but apparently this is a pink grapefruit bubble bath. Bath bubble, sorry. Word placement and letter placement and stuff means nothing to my brain. It just does what it wants. I think it's also in the shape of a heart. It is pink grapefruit scented. Oh, I can smell it through it. It smells really good. Ooh, I like that a lot. It's a really just like nice, fresh citrusy scent. Okay, day number four is the one that I couldn't cram into the box because it was just too large. It is very lightweight. So I'm excited to see what's in here. 
Oh, it's a loofah. Eh. <laughs> okay. At first I was like, this is a terrible bag. You can't open it. I've actually never seen a loofah like this. Typically they're made out of that little like scritchy plastic stuff. But this one's like fishnetty, cottony kind of stuff. They have replaced like the plastic with a natural fiber, which is good. It does say to make it sure you let it dry out completely and store it in a dry place. But the problem with that is I shower every day. <laughs> I shower every day and I don't know if this could actually ever dry out fully and it won't be stored in a dry place because I'll be in the shower, which historically is fairly damp. Um, but I do really like the thought behind it. I will get this a try and see how it works. Maybe it'll dry out really quickly. I don't know. Alrighty, at day at number five here, we have a cute little telephone booth on the front. Ooh, this isn't a fun little container. Ah, this seems like it'd be really nice. So this is a body butter in the scent. Yeah, not flavor. Not, not flavor. This scent, mango, and I really like the little container that it comes in. This is for dry skin. It has 96 hour nourishing moisture, which that sounds cool. Okay, so I was, <laughs> I was anticipating this to have that kind of like artificially mango smell, which I do actually really like. This one smells like straight up mangoes. Like a real, like you just sliced it up mango, which I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have only done one time. It was in college. I got a mango, I was really excited about it. I tried to like slice it up. It was real hard, <laughs> so I never did that again. But this does smell really nice and it actually smells like real fruit. Today at number six is also feeling a little on the heavy side. Oh no! I was like, look how happy the gingerbread men are, but then this one, um, well, <laughs> Probably less happy. Ah, okay, so this is interesting. The next thing we have in here is a banana shampoo. And I feel like I remember watching people like make banana hair masks for their hair. It didn't look very appetizing and neither does this shampoo. But I'm really excited to smell it because I feel like it's gonna smell like straight up bananas. <gasps> they doing that? Are there real bananas in here? On the ingredients it says Musa Sapatium and then in parentheses banana. So I guess there is actually banana in here and it smells again it doesn't smell like well there's like a little bit of like an artificially banana scent to it. Kind of like a banana bread banana. You know the ones that get like a little suspicious looking and you put it into your banana bread. It smells like that. Day at number seven here is in a slightly smaller box. We have another little pot of stuff in here. What a very interesting little thing on the top. That's a I guess it's supposed to be like a mouth but it just looks different. I don't know. This is a born lippy. Oh, watermelon. Another one of my absolute favorite scents and tastes for anything. Oh, that's a good watermelon scent. Yeah, I like that. That smells good. Okay, so this one probably does smell a little bit more artificially, but I don't really know if watermelon has that strong of a scent to begin with, like a real actual watermelon. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've ever like deeply inhaled a slice of watermelon. So I don't I don't really know like what a fresh watermelon scent is, but this smells really good. Whatever it is, it smells really good. Yeah, that's good. Moving on here to day number eight. I am going a little bit quickly to do have two calendars to get through and historically I talk too much and the videos are very long. Day at number eight here, we have a, another shower gel, but I'm really excited about this one because it is in that pink grapefruit scent, which smells like so just fresh and citrusy. Yeah, that's amazing. It smells like you just zested a pink grapefruit into some like body wash. <laughs> I don't know if pink grapefruit is something that you zest. I think that's typically like lemons and limes, but if you were to zest a pink grapefruit, then it would probably smell like this. Oh, I do love how grapefruit smells. I don't like to eat it though. I really don't. I remember trying to be healthy when I was like young, like very young, and I would cut open like a grapefruit in half and, <laughs> and sprinkle sweet and low on it, you know, because that's so healthy and try to eat it like that. But I, I still didn't enjoy my experience very much. Day number nine is up next. Looks like we have a, another little hand cream in here. Ooh, I bet this is going to smell so good. So this is a almond milk and honey hand cream, but this time it's a little bit different. It's for sensitive dry hands and it's supposed to be calming and protective. Sometimes I do wish I could calm my hands. If they really like they're all over the place. They do move a lot and they need to relax sometimes. Uh, I don't think it'll calm the orangeness in my hands though because that's just it's always there and it always will be. I am very excited to smell this though. Really probably shouldn't have put on that hand lotion. And here I am putting on some more. I just want to smell it better. Okay so this one isn't exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping for like a really powerfully scented kind of like milky honey almondy scent and it is there just a little bit but it smells like a fairly standard hand cream. I'm sorry guys. I am losing my voice. These advent calendar unboxings for some reason take me like two to three hours to film and that entire time I'm just like projecting as much as I can at the camera because I'm typically fairly quiet. So my throat isn't used to me being like, hello. Ooh, okay, so next up here we have a, another shower type product, but this one is in the scent coconut and it's a shower cream, which that sounds very interesting. I do also love the scent of coconut. Ugh. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> 
smells amazing. I'm guessing a shower cream is just like a body wash or something. I don't know, but it smells really good. It says nothing about being moisturizing, but I just feel like it will moisturize you. Just moisturize you with all the coconutty goodness. All right, day at number 11 is up next. This calendar has been pretty fun so far. Like I knew what it was going into it. It's just gonna be a bunch of like bath and body products. And I think it's been really nice. The scents have been really good. So I've been enjoying it. Hopefully we continue to do so. Oh, this one's very green. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Why did that hurt so much? Oh my gosh, it felt like just a jolt of electricity went up through my arm. I just barely rolled my elbow off the edge of this table and it felt like I was being electrocuted. Anyway, uh, the next thing we have in here is a tea tree item. So this is a clean, clean skewering, clean skewering, clean skin, skin, skin clearing face wash. I do like tea tree stuff. I used it for a while for a purpose. What was that purpose? Like I had tea tree oil in my shower for a while and I don't remember why. What did I use that for? Anyway, you can use it for skin clearing apparently. Oh, okay. So that is a pretty nice tea tree scent and it's pretty strong, but it smells really good. It's not too terribly overpowering, but I like it. I think it smells good. My face could definitely use some clearing right now. It's probably a little hard to tell beneath the layers of um, bronzer I have on here. My goodness. It doesn't look like this in person. I promise you guys. But I did also do my makeup without my glasses on or contacts in, so maybe it does. Uh, so I can give this a try, see how it works out. That is a candle box from the last advent calendar. Where's the thing? There we go. All right, day at number 12 is up next here. We're about halfway through this advent calendar and it's a pretty big box. It's very lightweight, so it'll be interesting to see what we got in here. Ah, okay, so the next thing we have in here is a sheet mask. I'm not like the biggest fan of having sheet masks and things just because it is like a single use. You're only gonna get one time out of this. You know, even like the creepy little sheet mask smiling face there tells you you only get one time use. This is a vitamin C glow sheet mask. It's been enriched with vitamin C rich camu camu. This is supposed to help you feel hydrated and awakened and healthier, which I could definitely use all of those things like in excess. Please help. Moving on here to day number 13. Oh, it looks like we have a, another little bath fizzy thing with the Powerpuff Girls heart on it. I guess this one would be bubbles. Oh, and that's funny because that's a bath bubble. Was there a pink Powerpuff Girl? There had to have been. Who was the pink Powerpuff Girl? Blossom. That's right. Okay, so we've had Blossom. Now we have Bubbles. I want to pop a buttercup. All right, day at number 14 is up next here. It's in a pretty big box. It's also fairly heavy. Oh, okay. So the next thing we have here is, is a soap. It's also in the coconut scent. Okay, so now, you know, I did give other calendars, namely one incredibly expensive overpriced piece of garbage. I should know. Ooh, all these scents making me a little sneezy. I did give them a little bit of crap for having like, you know, hand soap inside of their calendars. But this is a bath and body calendar for $79, which is 10 times less the price of the other calendar. And it just, it makes sense for it to be in here. And yeah, I'm sure this is a very nice soap. This kind of thing is what they specialize in. So I'm sure it's really good. Day number 15 is up next here. Let's go ahead and see what we got. This one's also pretty heavy. So I'm going to assume it's another like shower gel. Oh, this time we have a bath day. Very easily excited today. Okay. So this time we have a strawberry scented shower gel. And I loved how the strawberry hand cream smelled. So I'm sure I'm also going to really like this. Yeah, it smells really good. I do think the hand cream actually smelled a little bit stronger, a little bit more intense of strawberry, but this one still smells really good. Alrighty, next up here, day number 16, looks like we have another showery gel kind of, nope, nope, it's banana conditioner. <laughs> For some reason, I can't really like, get my head around like just mashing up a banana and putting it on your head. And I kind of feel like that's what they're going for here. This looks like, you know, banana baby food. I'm also assuming this is gonna have a very powerful banana scent. And it does. Okay, this one actually smells more like banana somehow than that shampoo did. This one does have a little bit more of like a fake banana scent to it, kind of like banana runts. Do they even make those anymore? I'm not sure if they do. For some reason, like the only place I ever see them is in like old hoarder operated like candy machines. Just they're full of runts. I don't know if I personally like the scent of banana enough to want my hair to smell like it all the time, but you, if you do, I got you, I got you something. Day at number 17, and I think we do actually have kind of a Powerpuff inspired thing going on here. Like what's, what's the odds of one being pink, one being blue, and one being green? So next up here, we have a, another bubble thing. What is this? Bath bubble. Why is that so hard for me to remember? This time it's in the scent Moringa, which I do not know what that is. I couldn't even begin to tell you what that is, but it smells really good. What is a Moringa? Oh, it's a plant. I thought for sure it was gonna be some type of citrus fruit. It's not, it's plant, it smells really good. Day at number 18 is up next here. Feeling pretty lightweight. Body shop, don't do this to me. Please, body shop, don't do this to me, okay? <laughs> We've been doing so good. We've been having so much fun, smelling so many things. Oh, I'm smelling real good. Don't do this to me. Okay, so the next thing in here, 
you know, like I was going to roast it just a little bit, but it's not bad. It truly isn't bad. They are two hair breads, but at least they're like interesting. They're a little creative, a little unique. So we have a red and yellow hair bread. This one says share joy and then one says share love. They are just two bobby pins, but at least they like say something on them. They're like a little extra effort put into them. If these were from Sephora, they would just be like two colorful bobby pins and they would call it a day. These personally aren't my exact style, but I feel like a lot of people would actually like these and wear them and stuff. So, you know, I think this is fine. Ooh, day number 19 here is next up. It's feeling very um heavy and loud. All right, next up here, we have another gift for my aunt. I have a rose scented exfoliating gel body scrub. Again, honestly, not a horrible scent. It kind of just smells like a clean floral scent. I do see little chunks of actual rose in there, I'm pretty sure. Can you guys see those? Yeah, I'm assuming those are just rose chunks. Um, I don't know how I feel about having actual hunks of flowers in things. In my mind, they're just gonna get icky. Day number 20 is, ooh, I'm already really excited. Okay. Oh, well, okay. I got really excited and then less excited and then still excited because I do like the scent. At first, I thought this was going to be something peach because does that not look like a peach to you? It looks exactly like a peach to me. This is supposed to be a pink grapefruit hand cream, but like that's a peach. But I do really like this scent, so that is fine. It does smell really nice. For some reason, it reminds me of like the early 2000s, and I don't know why, but I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with that scent memory. Day at number 21 is next. If I had to guess, I would say this is probably another shower gel or something just by the weight of it. And oh, looky there, I would be correct. So the next thing we have in here is a almond milk and honey shower cream, which again, I'm gonna assume this is just like a shower gel type thing, but just like with cream, a creamy one. Maybe this one just isn't my favorite scent. If you're into more like lightly scented things, you might prefer this over some more of the intense scented things. Oh, this one's got kitties on it and this one's wearing a hat. Oh, and it's a puppy and he's wearing a hat. I definitely thought both of those were cats at first. Yeah, I'm just, I'm very observant. Based on the weight of this one and the size of the box, yes, yes, this is, I got to it before I could finish my thought, but that's fine. I was gonna say, I think there's another mask in here. This one is a vitamin E quench face mask. And I kind of, I like that word, quench. And it's supposed to make your skin feel hydrated, softer, and smoother, which all those things are very nice. Alrighty, day at number 23 is up next here. Again, feeling kind of shower jelly. Yeah, okay, again, my dreams were kind of dashed. I thought this was a peach scent. I guess I'm just not very well versed at like knowing what fruit looks like. This is a mango shower gel. This one has a little bit more of a artificially scent to it, but it still smells really like light and fresh. It also smells just like a touch like Victoria's Secret love spell. And I don't know why, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking of. Like just a little bit like love spell. You know, like the scent that every single middle school girl had in their Dooney and Burke purse. All right, you guys, and we have made it to the final day of the advent calendar, day number 24. Very excited to see what is in here. Oh, I'm seeing another fun little packaging like we had with the mango body butter. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, It is another body butter since the packaging is exactly the same. I don't know why I was expecting something different. But this time it is a shea body butter, again, for very dry skin with 96 hour nourishing moisture. Oh, this one smells nice. It smells very almost like vanilla-y. There's not too much of an intense scent to it. Um, again, if you're not really into the highly scented things, maybe this one would be better. Yeah, but it smells really good. I am interested in seeing the texture. Ooh, it's stiff. <laughs> that is a stiff peak. <laughs> it feels kind of weird rubbing around on it. Yeah, that, that seems very highly moisturizing. Feels really good on the skin. There is barely any scent to it. I kind of wish for the final day they would have given us something like more fun scented and maybe give this one earlier on in the calendar. But nonetheless, I think it is a nice product and it does feel really good. All right, you guys, that was everything in the Body Shop Advent Calendar. I thought this was pretty good. It was a pretty fun calendar. I feel like this could go for a wide range of people. Anybody who's into like baths or, you know, they're into showers. I thought this was a really nice calendar. I do maybe think they could have included potentially like one full-size shower gel, one full-size hand cream, something like that, just because everything was on the smaller side, but at least the items weren't like tiny, tiny. So I think that's good. It's not the largest value for a calendar we've seen, but I feel like most of the stuff in here is very useful. So yeah, I'm happy with it. All right, you guys, that is the first calendar finished. We're about to move on to the second one, but before we do, I would love to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for a while now. Now, and I personally love how user-friendly it is. You do not have to be a tech genius or really honestly even know what you're doing to be able to create a really unique personalized site. I use Squarespace for my business, but you absolutely do not have to own a business or want to run one online to have a Squarespace website. For instance,
Pins. I'm also using Squarespace to build my wedding website. And it is so easy to get started. All you have to do is select one of the mini starter layouts and from there you can have fun personalizing it by adding and removing pages, putting pictures into galleries, adding text and links, and even connecting your socials to further personalize your site. Then once you're done creating your unique online site, you can rest assured that it's gonna look great across all devices because each layout has a built-in mobile site. Squarespace truly has all the tools you need to showcase anything that you're passionate about. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Alexandria Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And just thank you so very much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I've been filming for so long that I had to like pause and go take a snack break. Me and Ren, we both had snack breaks just then. Okay, now that I've had my snack, um, let's go ahead and move on into the second calendar, which is the ASOS calendar. That's just the scarf, which is actually part of the calendar. Isn't this cute? So with every calendar, you did get a little like scarfy thing. I think it's really nice. It's really silk, silky feeling. I might feel like a little bit of like a old timey Hollywood movie star. What also comes with the advent calendar is a tote bag. That's so cool. I like that the packaging of this is something actually useful. Oh, I was gonna say mine's got a big hole in it, but a bit, that's probably where the scarf was. All right, so inside of our tote bag here, we have the actual outer packaging of the calendar itself. Ooh, okay, the inside does not match the outside whatsoever. The inside is like very peachy and pink and like animal printed and stuff. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys like how much this is and how many days and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and see here. Here. It is currently out of stock, but it says it's supposed to be a 24 day face and body advent calendar with a 74% savings. That's pretty good. Oh, it tells you everything that's in it. Don't look. Oh my goodness. Oh, the spoilers are everywhere. Ah, I just want to see how much it is. Okay, apparently it was 75 pounds. 75 pounds in USD. Or 100 US dollars. So this is a $100 calendar and it has 24 days inside of it. So let's go ahead and dive on in. Starting here with day number one. Oh, okay. So the very first thing we have in here is from Origins. And like, look at the size of it. Like a real size? Who would have thunk? This is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Ocavo. Ocavo. Avocado and glacier water. Free Shavakadu would be so disappointed to me right now. But lovely. That's a very long title, but I do like that this is a full size. Also, that green color is pretty nifty. Oh, look at this. I can just pop all my little things in there. All right, moving on here to day number two, a very slender door. Oh, Dr. Papa. Okay, so I do like stuff from them. First of all, like it's good stuff. Typically, everything that I've received from them has been pretty good. And second, it's because it's what I called my grandfather. I called him Papa. This is a multi purpose soothing balm with natural pawpaw in it and yes I do know that pawpaw is some type of thing that grows in nature. Um, but again, we have a very nice size of it. It's not a tiny little sample. Ooh, three is very interesting here. We have a nice flat large box. We actually have a two items in one here that is pretty nice. This is from Beauty, 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 Beauty Works Professionals, just like me, just so very incredibly professional. This is an argan serum and I'm gonna assume and you put it on your hair because it also comes with this huge comb. That is a very, very large comb, but this is probably the size of like brushing the apparatus that you should be using if your hair is wet. Oh, they guarantee luscious, healthy hair. That's a guarantee you might not want to apply to me. I don't know if anything will give me luscious hair, um, but you know, I could try this out and make my hair a little bit more shiny and good. Alrighty, day at number four is up next here. Let's see what we got. We got a little pot of something. Egyptian magic. Oh, this is Egyptian magic. A very interesting name. This is supposed to be just like an all-purpose skin cream. It's a 100% natural balm with honey and olive oil. There's, it doesn't smell like a single thing, um, but I'm sure it is a really nice balm. It feels really emollient on the skin. This is going to take off my lipstick, isn't it? You don't have to, oh, I don't like eating it. <laughs> you don't have to put this on your lips though. You can put this anywhere that you have dry skin apparently. So nice. Moving right along here to day number five. I'm seeing something in a tiny little box. Oh, okay. So Urban Decay. Ah, uh, okay. So this is the All Nighter Face Primer. At first, I was trying to figure out like how skinny did they make the All Nighter Spray? But this is actually a face primer. I don't think I've ever tried this before, but I haven't really tried many face primers before. So yeah, we just have a tiny little tube of this primer. It is supposed to be like a foundation gripping primer. All right, moving on here to six. What am I seeing here? Ooh, all right, so we have a Clinique item. This is the Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I feel like this is something we have seen a couple of times in our advent calendar adventure here. Clinique is like, you know, a pretty well-known skincare brand and just like makeup brand in general. So this is actually kind of like a hardish balm. That's very interesting. Seven, next up here we have what looks Olaplex. I know what that is. <laughs> this is actually something I've been really, really wanting to try. This is Olaf... 
This is the Olaplex number three, and I, I hope this is the one you're supposed to use. I really don't know. That's the only reason I haven't tried to think from Olaplex yet. It's because they have all these numbers and stuff, and it's it's too confusing. It's too much. But this is supposed to repair and strengthen for all hair types, and heavens to Betsy, I could use some repairs and some strength. Uh, you're supposed to use it one time a week or for damaged hair two to three times per week, so... Day number eight is up next to you. This box feels pretty heavy. Oh, I didn't know Revolution had skincare. Like, is this the same, you know, like makeup revolution or just is it not related at all? I have no idea. But either way, this is a glycolic polisher that's supposed to gently exfoliate to reveal a brighter, fresher complexion. That actually seems pretty nice. Again, really liking the size of this. I'm sure this is a full size and you can actually get some use out of it. Day number nine is up next here. Oh, this looks so incredibly familiar because I think this is like the fifth time that we have received this in an advent calendar this year. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, and I think just Estee Lauder just signed blindly signed contracts with like different companies. Just every single person that approached them with like a contract for an advent calendar, they're like, yes, yes, we will supply product for your calendar because these have been in like so many of the ones they've done this year. Oh, if I combine them all together, I might be able to get like a full size. Day at number 10 is next. This is actually looking like a fairly large box. Oh, okay, so this is from The Ordinary. I've heard, again, fantastic things about stuff from The Ordinary. This is 100% plant derived squalane. What's a squalane? Um, I, I, I don't know. I honestly do not know, but at least this actually tells us a little bit about it. Okay, I lied. It just says ingredients squalane and then it just tells you how to use it. So I don't really know what squalane does, but um, you cool. I'm excited to figure it out. Eleven is up next feeling pretty lightweight. Ooh, okay, that's why. So the next thing we have in here is a pair of lashes. One of my just least favorite things to put on my face, to be fully honest. <laughs> These are from um, dainty professionals is that the name of the brand or is that the style of the lash but I like the word dainty so it works for me either way I just really detest putting on eyelashes I'm actually going through the trouble of using lash serum every single day like a lot of it every single day just so I can have more lashes and avoid ever putting these on my face again I don't know if you guys will be able to see or not but they're definitely growing a little bit they're a little bit more full than they used to be a little bit longer so I feel like maybe if I continue to put vials and vials of it on my face these will never be necessary I want to be like that one girl who hers grew up like here and she had to trim them off. I would prefer to trim off my own real eyelashes than wear fake ones. 12 is up next here. We're already halfway through this calendar. Again, I'm really sorry that I'm kind of like talking quickly and moving through this quickly, but I have been filming for an eternity. It's been so long. <laughs> oh, next up here we have something from Coralie. This is the Vino Perfect, which we have also received a couple of different times in this advent calendar series. Oh, Dali. It smells like plant stems. This is a radiant serum. It's also supposed to be complexion correcting, so lovely. Day 13 is up next here. <laughs> When I first saw this like plank inside of the box, I thought it was just like a heart-shaped rock and I was like, cool, heart-shaped rock. It's it's a, it's a gua sha, a gu sha, gu, gu, gu. This was like all the rage for a little while. I don't know if it's still as popular, but it's something where you're supposed to be able to like literally sculpt your face into like a different shape, which is something I would truly love to do. I walk around all the time and like do this and pull like my chin back <laughs> because I just like to see what it looked like if it were just a tinge smaller. I do however think the effects of this are supposed to be like not truly long lasting, like it's really not going to permanently change the shape of your face so you do have to keep up like a routine with it but you know I could say like maybe I will really try to like stick to this and see if I can kind of reshape my jaw but that requires a commitment that I don't think I'm ready to make. Day at number 14 is up next it's wiggling around a lot in there. Ah uh, okay so next up here we have just our standard regular should have been anticipated sleek life proof eyeliner in the shade blackmail and I'm just gonna assume this is your standard looking black liner. It does look like it is a sharpenable liner I don't see any like twist up mechanism or anything but it is supposed to be a 12 wear 12 hour wear 12 wears would be very little be a very small pencil moving right along here to day number 15 this also looks like a pretty decent size item oh okay so the next thing we have in here is from we are paradox and i feel like we just got something from this brand and i was like that's a very unusual name but i, I kind of like it this is a repair three in one conditioner for silk like softness and that sounds really lovely but I actually don't like it when my hair is too soft. Is that strange? Like today, it's a little bit too on the soft side and it feels weird and I don't like it. Um, I like a little bit of like grit. I like a little bit of straw-like feeling because it gives me more volume and the appearance of more hair. So on days when it's too soft, I just, I don't really like it. I know that's the exact opposite of what most people want. Ooh, 16 here is in a big boy. What is this print? 
it's supposed to be. I, I don't I don't know what that is. It's kind of freaking me out though. It looks like a real up close picture of like a snake, but like a snake that in movement, like a blurry picture of a snake. Oh, okay. So next up here, we have something that I have actually received kind of recently. This is a deep sleep body cocoon from This Works. It is a 24 hour skin thingy and it's supposed to help nourish your skin and help you sleep at nighttime. It does have a very like aromatherapy scent to it. I'm sure there's like a lot of lavender and other sleepy time stuff in there. Um, it smells pretty good. I haven't gotten the opportunity to use the one that I have received yet, but um, yeah, I'll give it a try. Chugging right along here to day. So what is that? What am I looking at here? No. No! Ah, it finally happened! <laughs> it's the Invisibobble! So typically I just feel like every year I get an Invisibobble in one of my advent calendars and I hadn't so far this year and I was happy about it. Uh, but this one is actually a little bit different. So this looks like an Invisibobble scrunchie. A very shiny Invisibobble scrunchie to be exact. This looks like my dance costumes from middle school. That is exactly like the shiny scratchy material of a dance costume. Okay this is interesting because it looks like a regular scrunchie but on the inside you can feel that little telephone cord just running through it. So there's like a large Invisibobble in here wrapped in fabric. Which honestly I probably would prefer more because I felt like my hair just got kind of like entangled inside the little spirals. So with this it would kind of protect from that but I don't know if that kind of just takes away the point of the invisible. I don't know. Anyway so this is a scrunchie. It's kind of cute. I actually like the black and the silver shiny. All right 18 I'm pretty excited about even though I, I likely know exactly what's in here. <laughs> it's a very thin square box. And yes, it does appear that I didn't know exactly what is in here. So we have a sheet mask. This looks like a really big sheet mask, doesn't it? Finally one like large enough for my whole head. That's good. And cover the whole chin. This is a soothing Hydra Solution face mask. I don't know why this is the picture they chose for it though. Like this looks like a bar of Irish Springs, like an oval bar of Irish Springs to me, which to me sounds like the least soothing thing to put on your face. <laughs> Number 19 here is also sounding very jangly. So I'm hoping this will be a makeup product. Oh, okay. So the next thing we have in here is from Ciate London. This says it is a definer liner, but I think it's in like a pretty gold shade. This one I will actually swatch. I just can't swatch every single black liner that I get because there's so many. And then at some point I just have like 40 open one-time swatch liners just hanging around and just it's a it, it's too many black liners to have open. But this one is a little bit different so I will swatch this. Oh that's so pretty. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this on camera, but it is just a really nice kind of like lightly sparkly gold liner. It's not honestly too overpowering it's kind of subtle but I feel like it could be really really pretty so yeah I'm actually excited about this my goodness number 20 is a very large hefty little guy here um, I'm quite excited to see what this is it feels big oh what's coming out the bottom Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless a product from Elemis that isn't their collagen marine cream we have had so many little pots of collagen marine cream throughout these advent calendars but finally something that is a little different I have never tried this from them I have never heard of this from them but this is a soothing apricot toner and I'm gonna be fully honest with you guys I've never used a toner like ever but now I'm, I'm gonna try this one I really am I feel like this could be interesting to get a try it is supposed to be a calming face toner I do get a lot of like redness in my cheeks so maybe it'll help with that does it smell like apricots what do apricots smell like yeah yeah I think that's what apricots smell like Ooh, this one's really nice actually I am excited about this product I do like Elemis but I'm excited to try something that isn't that same cream Moving on here to day 21. We're getting very close to the end of this calendar. Oh my goodness. We have something from MAC. Holy guacamole. It's a lipstick that's not red. I mean, it's pretty brown. It's a very brown lipstick, but at least it's not red. Full size MAC lipstick in the shade Whirl. It does have like a little bit of a red tint to it, but that is okay. It is not like a cherry fire engine red. Oh, it's actually kind of a beautiful shade. I think I actually really like that. I don't know if it would be too like brown on me. Let's try this mirror, you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on top of my other lipstick and just, yeah. Okay, it is a little bit deeper than I'm used to, but I actually really like the tone of this. I think this is really pretty and it's not red. Moving on here to day number 22, we have a very long box with a very short product in it. Oh, cute. So again, we have like a little two-in-one product here. Notice how they didn't just put a single nail file into a door. <coughs> so far, <coughs> oh man, I'm just telling you, there's so many scents in here. Messing with my allergies. This is also a really cute little nail file on this side. It's like super glittery, glittery. And then on this side, it says Le Mini Macaron. Oh, that's the name of the brand. Okay, so this is the Le Mini Macaron nail and a cuticle oil, which I am actually very excited about. My cuticles have been jacked up recently like so bad so um, a cuticle oil could definitely come in handy alrighty guys we only have two days left in this calendar this is day number 24 that's not next 
Day number 23 will be up next here. Ooh, bubble wrap, very exciting. Oh, is this is a makeup palette. Did we get an eyeshadow palette in here? My heavens, we have a iconic London eyeshadow palette. Oh, okay, with pretty cute little colors. It's very like pale sherbet-y kind of vibes happening here. I do like this brown here on the end in the shade Conquer, but not at all how you think it would be spelled. That looks like a bad word that you call somebody. I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, but yeah, they, they seem like nice, pretty shades. This is 23, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> These seem like nice, pretty shades. Um, This rags to riches shade here it looks really, really pretty, like a nice kind of peachy rose gold. Fun. Okay, I'm excited. I love seeing like actual makeup items in these calendars when they claim to be like beauty calendars. It is nice to see actual kind of like full size makeup. Alrighty, you guys. Finally, we have day number 24 here. I'm kind of thinking that the palette should have been day number 24 just because I like to end on something really exciting, but maybe there's something even more exciting in here. I don't know. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, I see what they did. I see what they did. All right, so this... <laughs> In theory, this is probably a very exciting item, but it's just so small that it kind of takes away from it a little bit. So the last item we have in here is the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh man, that one might have finally shot my whole voice. Okay, so the last thing we have in here is the Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte's Magic Cream, which is a very expensive face cream in its full size. I think like in its full size, it's around a hundred bucks. In this size, I don't know but it is like a cult classic, cult favorite product. So I can see why they did keep it to the end. But personally, if it were me, I would have replaced the two. So I've done the cream for day number 23 and the eyeshadow palette for day number 24, just cause that's what I think is more exciting. But if you're more into skincare stuff, then you might be all like pumped about this. All right, you guys, that brings us to the end of this advent calendar. And I thought this was pretty good. I actually thought both of these calendars were pretty good. There were a lot of skincare items in here, but I liked seeing the larger sizes of them. That was really nice. I like that we did get some full size makeup as well and a lipstick that's not red. So, you know, thumb, do a thumbs up for, for lipsticks that's not red. All right, you guys, that brings us to the end of our advent calendars for today at least. I don't know if there's going to be more or not. Let me know down below in the comments if you would like to see any other calendars that we have left. But anyway guys, that is all I have for you all today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind opening the absolute world to me and also to Rin. And I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye! You good boy? Is you best boy?